Taupo is the world's most recent supervolcanic eruption, with it occurring 25.6 thousand years ago. This cataclysmic event, known as the Oruanui eruption, originated from the Taupo volcano, located in the central part of New Zealand's North Island. The eruption was colossal, ejecting over 1,100 cubic kilometres of pumice and ash into the atmosphere, transforming the landscape and leaving a caldera that is now filled by Lake Taupo, New Zealand's largest lake. The sheer scale of this eruption has made it a pivotal event in understanding supervolcanic activity and its far-reaching effects. The Taupo Volcanic Zone, where the Taupo Volcano is located, is a highly active volcanic and geothermal area resulting from the subduction of the Pacific Plate beneath the Australian Plate. This zone has a history of significant volcanic activity, with Taupo being the youngest and one of the most active supervolcanoes in the region. The eruption 25.6 thousand years ago was not only the largest in New Zealand's history, but also one of the most significant volcanic events on Earth in the last 100,000 years. The Oruanui eruption was characterised by a sequence of explosive phases that unleashed a massive volume of magma and pyroclastic material. This material, upon eruption, rapidly cooled and fragmented into fine ash and pumice, which were propelled high into the stratosphere. The eruption column reached tens of kilometres into the sky, and the resulting pyroclastic flows, a mixture of hot gases, ash and pumice, swept across the surrounding landscape at incredible speeds. These flows destroyed everything in their path, creating a barren, ash-covered landscape. One of the most remarkable aspects of the Oruanui eruption was the distribution of its volcanic ash. The fine ash particles were carried by prevailing winds over vast distances, eventually reaching as far away as Antarctica. The discovery of this ash in various locations has provided critical insights into the eruption's magnitude and the atmospheric conditions of the time. The ash fallout from the eruption blanketed large areas of the North Island, significantly altering the local environment and ecosystems. In recent years, researchers have made a groundbreaking discovery. Ash from the Oruanui eruption has been identified in northwest Tasmania in Australia. This finding marks the first detection of Oruanui-derived microscopic volcanic glass shards not visible to the naked eye in Australia, specifically in the Yellow Marsh sediments. This discovery has profound implications for our understanding of the reach and impact of supervolcanic eruptions. The wind direction during the Oruanui eruption played a crucial role in dispersing the ash across vast distances, including towards Australia. Researchers collected sediment samples from the Yellow Marsh area, which were then analysed for volcanic glass shards. By examining the chemical composition of these shards, scientists were able to match them to the Oruanui eruption, confirming their origin. The presence of Oruanui ash in Tasmania indicates that the eruption's ash cloud travelled over 2,000 kilometres across the Tasman Sea, reaching southern Australia. This finding provides a clearer picture of the eruption's vast geographic impact, demonstrating that even distant regions were affected by its fallout. The ability of the ash to travel such distances is an indication of the eruption's intensity and the power of atmospheric currents to distribute volcanic material across continents. This discovery in Tasmania has significant implications for understanding past climate and environmental changes. Volcanic eruptions of this scale can inject large amounts of ash and sulphur dioxide into the atmosphere, which can reflect sunlight and cool the Earth's surface. This phenomenon, known as a volcanic winter, can lead to significant climate anomalies. By studying the distribution of Oruanui ash and its impact on the environment, scientists can gain insights into how such events influence global climate systems. Moreover, the presence of Nefer in Tasmania serves as a valuable time marker for dating geological and archaeological records. The Oruanui eruption is a well-established chronological marker, and the identification of its ash in new locations allows for more precise dating of sediments and other deposits. This can help reconstruct the timing and sequence of events in the late Pleistocene, providing a clearer understanding of the environmental changes that occurred during this period. The fact that an eruption in New Zealand could deposit ash in Australia emphasises the importance of studying volcanic events in a global context. Understanding how volcanic ash travels and settles can provide valuable information for predicting the impacts of future eruptions, especially those from supervolcanoes, which have the potential to affect the entire planet. The impact of the Oruanui eruption on human populations and ecosystems would have been profound, even in regions far away from the immediate vicinity of the volcano. The widespread dispersal of ash would have affected air quality, water supplies, and plant growth, 
posing significant challenges for survival. While direct evidence of human habitation in New Zealand at the time of the eruption is sparse, the presence of ash layers in Australia suggests that the environmental effects of the eruption could have been felt by early human populations across the region. These effects might have included disruptions to food sources, both through the impact on plant life and the broader ecological chains, and health issues related to breathing ash-laden air. Understanding these impacts not only provides insight into the resilience of early human communities, but also serves as a reminder of the potential challenges modern societies could face in the wake of similar large-scale volcanic events. The study of ancient eruptions like Aruanui Nui helps us anticipate and prepare for the kinds of environmental and societal disruptions that might accompany future supervolcanic eruptions. Underlining the importance of integrating geological knowledge with modern disaster preparedness and response strategies. The study of the Aruanui Nui eruption and its ash deposits in Tasmania is ongoing, with researchers continuing to explore the broader implications of these findings. New technologies and methods in geochemical analysis, satellite imaging, and computer modeling are enabling scientists to refine their understanding of the eruption's magnitude, the dispersal of its ash, and its impact on the environment. These studies are not only shedding light on the past, but also informing our preparedness for future volcanic events. The discovery of the Taupo volcano's ash in Tasmania extends our knowledge of the event's impact demonstrating the far-reaching effects of supervolcanic eruptions. As we continue to study this remarkable event, we gain a deeper appreciation for the complex interactions between the Earth's surface, atmosphere and climate, and the role that volcanic activity plays in shaping our world. I hope you found this as interesting as I did, and as always, thanks for watching. Are you interested in animals? I've just started a second channel called Paleozoology that discusses extinct and extant animals with a current focus on the megafauna that once dominated and roamed Australia. I've released a video on the marsupial lion which existed in Australia during the time Indigenous Australians walked the continent. I've also covered the wombat that was the size of a car, known as the Diprotodon, or the largest terrestrial lizard known as the Megalania. I'd love to have you along for the journey as more videos are released. You can find a link to this channel and to the aforementioned videos in the description and in the pinned comment in the comment section. Before I end this video, I'd like to give a big shout out to my Patreon and YouTube members. Thank you so much to everyone that helps to support this channel.